Appendix of Twelve Years a Slave by Solomon Northup Appendix A, page 291 Chapter 375 An Act More Effectually to Protect the Free Citizens of This State from Being Kidnapped or Reduced to Slavery Passed May 14, 1840 The people of the State of New York, represented in Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows. Point 1. Whenever the Governor of this State shall receive information satisfactory to him that any free citizen or any inhabitant of this State has been kidnapped or transported away out of this State, or into any other State or Territory of the United States, for the purpose of being there held in slavery, or that such free citizen or inhabitant is wrongly seized, is imprisoned or held in slavery in any of the States or Territories of the United States, on the allegation or pretense that such a person is a slave, or by colour of any usage or rule of law prevailing in such state or territory, is deemed or taken to be a slave, or not entitled of right to the personal liberty belonging to a citizen, it shall be the duty of the said governor to take such measures as he shall deem necessary to procure such person to be restored to his liberty and return to this state. The Governor is hereby authorised to appoint and employ such agent or agents as he shall deem necessary to effect the restoration and return of such person, and shall furnish the said agent with such credentials and instructions as will be likely to accomplish the object of his appointment. The Governor may determine the compensation to be allowed to such agent for his services, besides his necessary expenses. Point 2. Such agent shall proceed to collect the proper proof to establish the right of such person to his freedom, and shall perform such journeys, take such measures, institute and procure to be prosecuted such legal proceedings, under the direction of the governor, as shall be necessary to procure such person to be restored to his liberty and returned to this state. Point 3. The accounts for all services and expenses incurred in carrying this act into effect shall be audited by the Comptroller, and paid by the Treasurer on his warrant, out of any monies in the Treasury of this State not otherwise appropriated. The Treasurer may advance, on the warrant of the Comptroller, to such agent such sum or sums as the Governor shall certify to be reasonable advances to enable him to accomplish the purposes of his appointment, for which advance such agent shall account on the final audit of his warrant. Point 4. This Act shall take effect immediately. Appendix B. Page 292. Memorial of Anne to His Excellency the Governor of the State of New York. The memorial of Anne Northup, of the village of Glens Falls in the county of Warren, state aforesaid, respectfully sets forth, that your memorialist, whose maiden name was Anne Hampton, was forty-four years old on the fourteenth day of March last, and was married to Solomon Northup, then of Fort Edward, in the county of Washington, and state aforesaid, on the 25th day of December, A.D. 1828, by Timothy Eddy, then a Justice of the Peace. That the said Solomon, after such marriage, lived and kept house with your memorialist in said town until 1830, when he removed with his said family to the town of Kingsbury in said county, and remained there about three years, and then removed to Saratoga Springs in the state aforesaid, and continued to reside in said Saratoga Springs and the adjoining town until about the year 1841, as near as the time can be recollected, when the said Solomon started to go to the city of Washington, in the District of Columbia, since which time your memorialist has never seen her said husband. And your memorialist further states that in the year 1841 she received information by a letter directed to Henry B. Northup Esquire of Sandy Hill, Washington County, New York, and postmarked at New Orleans, that said Solomon had been kidnapped in Washington, put on board of a vessel, and was then in such vessel in New Orleans, but could not tell how he came in that situation, nor what his destination was. That your memorialist ever since the last mentioned period has been wholly unable to obtain any information of where the said Solomon was, until the month of September last, when another letter was received from the said Solomon, postmarked at Marksville, in the parish of Avoyel, in the state of Louisiana, stating that he was held there as a slave, 
which statement your memorialist believes to be true. That the said Solomon is about 45 years of age, and never resided out of the state of New York, in which state he was born, until the time he went to Washington City, as before stated. That the said Solomon Northup is a free citizen of the state of New York, and is now wrongfully held in slavery, in or near Marksville, in the parish of Avoyelle, in the state of Louisiana, one of the United States of America, on the allegation or pretense that the said Solomon is a slave. And your memorialist further states that Mintus Northup was the reputed father of said Solomon, and was a Negro, and died at Fort Edward on the 22nd day of November, 1829. That the mother of said Solomon was a mulatto, or three quarters white, and died in the county of Oswego, New York, some five or six years ago, as your memorialist was informed and believes, and never was a slave. That your memorialist and her family are poor and wholly unable to pay or sustain any portion of the expenses of restoring the said Solomon to his freedom. Your Excellency is entreated to employ such agent or agents as shall be deemed necessary to effect the restoration and return of said Solomon Northup, in pursuance of an act of the legislature of the state of New York, passed May 14th, 1840, entitled, An Act More Effectually to Protect the Free Citizens of This State from Being Kidnapped or Reduced to Slavery. And your memorialist will ever pray. Signed, Anne Northup. Dated November 19, 1852. State of New York, Washington County. Anne Northup of the village of Glen Falls, in the county of Warren, in said state, being duly sworn, doth depose and say that she signed the above memorial and that the statements therein contained are true. Signed, Anne Northup. Subscribed and sworn before me this 19th November 1852. Charles Hughes, Justice Peace. We recommend that the Governor appoint Henry B. Northup of the village of Sandy Hill, Washington County, New York, as one of the agents to procure the restoration and return of Solomon Northup, named in the foregoing memorial of Anne Northup, dated at Sandy Hill, Washington County, New York, November 20, 1852. Signed, Peter Holbrook, Daniel Sweet, B.F. Hogue, Alman Clark, Charles Hughes, Benjamin Ferris, E.D. Baker, Josiah H. Brown, Orville Clark. State of New York, Washington County. Josiah Hand of the village of Sandy Hill in said county, being duly sworn, says he is 57 years old and was born in said village and has always resided there. That he has known Mintus Northup and his son Solomon, named in the annexed memorial of Anne Northup, since previous to the year 1816. That Mintus Northup then, and until the time of his death, cultivated a farm in the towns of Kingsbury and Fort Edward, from the time deponent first knew him until he died. That said Mintus and his wife, the mother of said Solomon Northup, were reported to be free citizens of New York, and deponent believes they were so free. That said Solomon Northup was born in said county of Washington, as deponent believes, and was married December 25th, 1828, in Fort Edward aforesaid, and his said wife and three children, two daughters and one son, are now living in Glens Falls, Warren County, New York, and that the said Solomon Northup always resided in said county of Washington and its immediate vicinity until about 1841, since which time deponent has not seen him. But deponent has been credibly informed, and as he verily believes truly, the said Solomon is now wrongly held as a slave in the state of Louisiana, and deponent further says that Anne Northup, named in the said memorial, is entitled to credit, and deponent believes the statements contained in her said memorial are true. Signed, Josiah Hand. Subscribed and sworn before me this 19th day of November 1852. Charles Hughes, Justice Peace. State of New York, Washington County. Timothy Eddy of Fort Edward in said county, being duly sworn, says he is now over blank years old, and has been a resident of said town more than blank years last past, and that he was well acquainted with Solomon Northup, named in the annexed memorial of Anne Northup, and with his father, Mintus Northup, who was a Negro. The wife of said Mintus was a mulatto woman. 
that said Mintus Northup and his said wife and family, two sons, Joseph and Solomon, resided in said town of Fort Edward for several years before the year 1828, and said Mintus died in said town, A.D. 1829, as deponent believes. And deponent further says that he was a justice of the peace in said town in the year 1828, and as such justice of the peace, he, on the 25th day of December, 1828, joined the said Solomon in marriage with Anne Hampton, who is the same person who has subscribed the annexed memorial. And deponent expressly says that said Solomon was a free citizen of the state of New York, and always lived in said state until about the year A.D. 1840, since which time deponent has not seen him, but has recently been informed, and as deponent believes truly, that said Solomon Northup is wrongfully held in slavery in or near Marksville, in the parish of Avoyel, in the state of Louisiana. And deponent further says that said Mintus Northup was nearly 60 years old at the time of his death, and was, for more than 30 years next prior to his death, a free citizen of the state of New York. And this deponent further says that Anne Northup, the wife of said Solomon Northup, is of good character and reputation, and her statements, as contained in the memorial hereto annexed, are entitled to full credit. Signed, Timothy Eddy, subscribed and sworn before me this 19th day of November, 1852. Timothy Stoughton, Justice. State of New York, Washington County. Henry B. Northup, of the village of Sandy Hill, in said county, being duly sworn, says that he is 47 years old, and has always lived in said county, that he knew Mintus Northup, named in the annexed memorial from deponent's earliest recollection until the time of his death, which occurred at Fort Edward in said county in 1829. That deponent knew the children of said Mintus, viz. Solomon and Joseph, that they were both born in the county of Washington aforesaid, as deponent believes. That deponent was well acquainted with said Solomon, who is the same person named in the annexed memorial of Anne Northup, from his childhood. And that said Solomon always resided in said county of Washington and the adjoining counties until about the year 1841. That said Solomon could read and write. That said Solomon and his mother and father were free citizens of the state of New York, that sometime about the year 1841, this deponent received a letter from said Solomon, postmarked New Orleans, stating that while on business at Washington City, he had been kidnapped, and his free papers taken from him, and he was then on board a vessel, in irons, and was claimed as a slave, and that he did not know his destination, which the deponent believes to be true, and he urged this deponent to assist in procuring his restoration to freedom, that deponent has lost or mislaid said letter and cannot find it. That deponent has since endeavoured to find where said Solomon was, but could get no farther trace of him until September last, when this deponent ascertained by a letter purporting to have been written by the direction of said Solomon, that said Solomon was held and claimed as a slave in or near Marksville, in the parish of Avoyel, Louisiana, and that this deponent verily believes that such information is true, and that said Solomon is now wrongfully held in slavery at Marksville aforesaid. Signed, Henry B. Northup. Subscribed and sworn to before me this 20th day of November, 1852. Charles Hughes, J.P. State of New York, Washington County. Nicholas C. Northup, of the village of Sandy Hill, in said county, being duly sworn, doth depose and say that he is now 58 years of age, and has known Solomon Northup, mentioned in the annexed memorial of Anne Northup, ever since he was born. And this deponent saith that said Solomon is now about 45 years old, and was born in the county of Washington, or in the county of Essex, in said state, and always resided in the state of New York until about the year 1841, since which time deponent has not seen him or known where he was until a few weeks since, deponent was informed, and believes truly, that said Solomon was held in slavery in the state of Louisiana. Deponent further says that said Solomon was married in the town of Fort Edward in said county, about 24 years ago, and that his wife and two daughters and one son now reside in the village of Glens Falls, county of Warren, in said state of New York. 
and this deponent swears positively that said Solomon Northup is a citizen of said state of New York, and was born free, and from his earliest infancy lived and resided in the counties of Washington, Essex, Warren and Saratoga, in the state of New York, and that his said wife and children have never resided out of said counties, since the time said Solomon was married, that deponent knew the father of said Solomon Northup, that said father was a negro named Mintus Northup, and died in the town of Fort Edward, in the county of Washington, state of New York, on the 22nd day of November, A.D. 1829, and was buried in the graveyard in Sandy Hill aforesaid. That for more than 30 years before his death, he lived in the counties of Essex, Washington, and Rensselaer, and state of New York and left a wife and two sons, Joseph and the said Solomon, him surviving. That the mother of said Solomon was a mulatto woman, and is now dead, and died, as deponent believes, in Oswego County, New York, within five or six years past. And this deponent further states that the mother of the said Solomon Northup was not a slave at the time of the birth of said Solomon Northup, and has not been a slave at any time within the last fifty years. Signed, N. C. Northup. Subscribed and sworn before me this 19th day of November, 1852. Charles Hughes, Justice Peace. State of New York, Washington County. Orville Clark, of the village of Sandy Hill, in the county of Washington, State of New York, being duly sworn, doth depose and say that he, this deponent, is over 50 years of age. That in the years 1810 and 1811, or most of the time of those years, this deponent resided at Sandy Hill, aforesaid, and at Glens Falls. That this deponent then knew Mintus Northup, a black or coloured man, he was then a free man as this deponent believes and always understood. That the wife of said Mintus Northup, and mother of Solomon, was a free woman. That from the year 1818 until the time of the death of said Mintus Northup, about the year 1829, this deponent was very well acquainted with the said Mintus Northup, that he was a respectable man in the community in which he resided, and was a free man, so taken and esteemed by all his acquaintances. That this deponent has also been and was acquainted with his son Solomon Northup, from the said year 1818 until he left this part of the country about the year 1840 or 1841. That he married Anne Hampton, daughter of William Hampton, a near neighbour of this deponent, that the said Anne, wife of said Solomon, is now living and resides in this vicinity, that the said Mintus Northup and William Hampton were both reputed and esteemed in this community as respectable men, and this deponent saith that the said Mintus Northup and his family, and the said William Hampton and his family, from the earliest recollection and acquaintance of this deponent with him, as far back as 1810, were always reputed, esteemed, and taken to be, and this deponent believes truly so, free citizens of the state of New York. This deponent knows the said William Hampton, under the laws of this state, was entitled to vote at our elections, and he believes the said Mintus Northup also was entitled as a free citizen with the property qualification. And this deponent further saith that the said Solomon Northup, son of said Mintus, and husband of said Anne Hampton, when he left this state, was at the time thereof a free citizen of the state of New York. And this deponent further saith that said Anne Hampton, wife of Solomon Northup, is a respectable woman, of good character, and I would believe her statements, and do believe the facts set forth in her memorial to His Excellency the Governor, in relation to her said husband, are true. Signed, Orville Clark. Sworn before me, November 19th, 1852. U.G. Paris, Justice of the Peace. State of New York, Washington County. Benjamin Ferris, of the village of Sandy Hill, in said county, being duly sworn, doth depose and say, that he is now 57 years old, and has resided in said village 45 years. That he was well acquainted with Mintus Northup, named in the annexed memorial of Anne Northup, from the year 1816 to the time of his death, which occurred at Fort Edward in the fall of 1829. 
that he knew the children of the said Mintus, namely Joseph Northup and Solomon Northup, and that the said Solomon is the same person named in said memorial, that said Mintus resided in the said county of Washington to the time of his death, and was, during all that time, a free citizen of the said state of New York, as deponent verily believes. That said memorialist, Anne Northup, is a woman of good character, and the statement contained in her memorial is entitled to credit. Signed, Benjamin Ferris, sworn before me, November 19th, 1852, U.G. Paris, Justice of the Peace. State of New York, Executive Chamber, Albany, November 30, 1852. I hereby certify that the foregoing is a correct copy of certain proofs filed in the Executive Department, upon which I have appointed Henry B. Northup, an agent of this state, to take proper proceedings in behalf of Solomon Northup, therein mentioned. Signed, Washington Hunt, by the Governor, J.F.R., Private Secretary. State of New York, Executive Department. Washington Hunt, Governor of the State of New York, to whom it may concern, greeting. Whereas I have received information on oath, which is satisfactory to me, that Solomon Northup, who is a free citizen of this state, is wrongfully held in slavery in the state of Louisiana. And whereas it is made my duty by the laws of this state to take such measures as I shall deem necessary to procure any citizen so wrongfully held in slavery to be restored to his liberty and returned to this state. Be it known that in pursuance of chapter 375 of the laws of this state, passed in 1840, I have constituted, appointed and employed Henry B. Northup Esquire of the County of Washington in this state, an agent with full power to effect the restoration of said Solomon Northup, and the said agent is hereby authorised and empowered to institute such proper and legal proceedings to procure such evidence, retain such counsel, and finally to take such measures as will be most likely to accomplish the object of his said appointment. He is also instructed to proceed to the state of Louisiana, with all convenient dispatch, to execute the agency hereby created. In witness thereof, I have hereunto subscribed my name, and affixed the privy seal of the state, at Albany, this twenty-third day of November, in the year of our Lord, 1852. Signed, Washington Hunt. James F. Ruggles, Private Secretary. Appendix C, page 309. State of Louisiana, Parish of Avoyelles. Before me, Aristide Barbin, recorder of the parish of Avoyelles, personally came and appeared Henry B. Northup, of the County of Washington, State of New York, who hath declared that by virtue of a commission to him as agent of the State of New York, given and granted by His Excellency Washington Hunt, Governor of the said State of New York, bearing date the 23rd day of November 1852, authorising and empowering him, the said Northup, to pursue and recover from slavery a free man of colour, called Solomon Northup, who is a free citizen of the state of New York, and who was kidnapped and sold into slavery, in the state of Louisiana, and now in the possession of Edwin Epps, of the state of Louisiana, in the parish of Avoyelles. He, the said agent, hereto signing, acknowledges that the said Edwin has this day given and surrendered to him, as such agent, the said Solomon Northup, free man of colour, as aforesaid, in order that he be restored to his freedom, and carried back to the said state of New York, pursuant to said commission. The said Edwin Epps being satisfied from the proofs produced by said agent, that the said Solomon Northup is entitled to his freedom the parties consenting that a certified copy of said power of attorney be annexed to this act. Done and signed at Marksville, Parish of Avoyelles, this 4th day of January, 1853, in the presence of the undersigned, legal and competent witnesses who have also hereto signed. Signed, Henry B. Northup, Edwin Epps, Aid Barbin, Recorder. Witnesses, H. Taylor, John P. Waddill. State of Louisiana, Parish of Avoyelles. I do hereby certify the foregoing to be a true and correct copy of the original on file and of record in my office. Given under my hand and seal of office as recorder, in and for the Parish of Avoyelles, this fourth day of January, A.D. 1853. Signed, Aid Barbin, Recorder. 
The End End of Twelve Years a Slave by Solomon Northup